This is Richie Cates' third fight in his comeback after laying off a year and a half. Uh, he's been a longtime presence in the light heavyweight division, uh, holding victories over Pierre Fauré and Jimmy Dupree, but losing to the top dogs in James Scott, Victor Galindez, and Matthew Saad Muhammad. He fights two more times after this bout, uh, defeating a pair of good contenders in Jeff Lampkin and Jerry Martin before he called it quits, citing that he simply lost his desire to fight. Uh, in the opposite corner is Richie the Bandit Bennett, who was once upon a time a highly touted prospect. Uh, Bennett fought out of Upper Darby, Pennsylvania, and his mindset mirrors that of Kate's in that he's, he lost interest in the sport around 1980 after losing a decision to Benny Briscoe. Uh, Bennett was a third-generation boxer. Uh, he took off a year and a half before this fight, and this is the third bout in his comeback where he's now stepping up to the light heavyweight division from middleweight. Uh, he fights two more times after this fight, but the last one ends in a first-round knockout defeat to Larry the Tumbler Davis, a fighter with an 11-24 and record. Uh, Bennett struggled with drug addiction and died in 1991 of an overdose in North Philadelphia. Uh, he was 32 years old. Couple of light heavyweights on the comeback trail here. Richie Cates in the red trunks. And Richie the Bandit Bennett in the green. I'll tell you, Jim, this has the making of a very good fight here. You got Cates, who's an excellent boxer. You know, Bennett, who's more of a banger, but, but comes in behind a good left jab. You're right, uh, Dwayne. There should be no shortage of punching action in this bout. We're already seeing some of it here in round one. Hesitates a little bit before another punch comes. Yet with Cates, you know, it's a jab and, and followed right with it is another punch. 20 seconds left to go here in the opening round. <laughs> Bennett's face reddening up quite a bit as a result of those jabs. You know, Richie Cates is stepping in with that jab, and when he steps in, he's got his weight behind it, so it's like getting hit in the face with a two-by-four. Closing seconds. Yeah. Round one, as we uh, follow second round, we had a good close-up look at Richie the Bandit Bennett. He's coming off a busted thumb that's kept him inactive recently, but he lands a very nice right hand there, his best punch of the fight. Catches Cates on the ropes and hits him again. I notice Bennett isn't getting his body into it. You know, I think he's giving Cates a little bit too much respect. You know, part of it being all those left hands he took in the first round. He's laying back, he's not getting into his fight yet. And I have to give Cates credit, too, because he's not letting him. He's keep there, I believe, was a little tape on the glove where the strings were coming loose. Referee Paul Venti making sure that it was tight. Halfway through the second round. Cates just missing with that overhand right. Caught Bennett behind the ear with it. And Jim, that, that's a tough blow because what that does, it shakes up your balance a little bit. Also put a cut in that ear. Overhand right by Cates. As that looping right hand has cut Richie Bennett behind the ear. A very unusual place to see a cut in the fight game, but uh, he is bleeding now from the left ear. Cates is very sure of himself, and, you know, right now Bennett seems a little lethargic. You know, I think that all those jabs and punches, those body shots that took a little steam out of him, you know, he's moving up in a weight class. It's new. I'd say this, you know, outside of two other fights, this is his first real opponent in the light heavyweight division. Right, and uh, it's, it's tough just to lean on a guy for all this time, three minutes around. And Richie Cates is right there leaning on Richie Bennett. 30 seconds to go in the second round. Bennett has been flat-footed almost from the opening bell. I see what Paul Venti's going. The gauze from the hand wraps on Richie Cates, you know, is coming out. Apparently it got loose inside. They're going to cut it off with the scissors now. Here we go, about 20 seconds or so left here in this second round. Overhand right by Kate scores again. Right now, the big difference between both these fighters is Cates is right on target and Bennett is missing. You know, he's just a, a fraction of an inch or so off, and his punches are going by. Richie the Bandit. Bennett is not sure what's going on because he can't get off, you know, with his punches. He can't get into, you know, his fight plan. 
This is round three. Good chopping right hand by Cates. Bennett has been a very good opponent for Cates. He's been right there, right where he wants him. You, you notice the difference in the jab. Bennett's jab goes out kind of slow, almost feeling its way out, whereas Richie Cates comes blasting out like a missile. A very, very solid good jab in the skin. Right under that left eye, the ear has stopped bleeding altogether. Good body work by Cates. He's just leaning on his uh, lighter opponent. He's got a four pound weight advantage and he's taking full advantage of it. Let's cut it out. Right above us here. Bennett being crowded now and having a tough time uh, getting on loose to throw some punches. Well, the opportunities are there. He's just not taking them. He's waiting back. He's letting Richie punch. What he's got to do is keep punching, keep protecting himself in the process, you know, and slow down the, the combinations by Cates. You know, he's got to get off more punches himself. He's got to get some body work in there. Two good punches there, but it's not enough. Doubling up with the left hook, Cates. One to the body, one to the chin. Another real good left of the body by Cates. They're taking their toll, those body punches. Very much so. You can see already, you know, how much that Richie Bennett has slowed down. You know, he doesn't have very much spring in his legs anymore. You know, the look on his face is already of defeat. Third round is over. Seven. Suffered a six round knockout to Matthew Franklin, Matthew Saad Muhammad now in 78. And his career kind of slowed after that. Hoping to revive it all. He's won two since returning after a layoff in 1981. Well, he's making a very good opponent right now. Look very, you know, look, make it look like an easy fight. You know, Richie, the bandit Bennett, you know, is a good fighter. He's fought some tough guys. He's beat Benny Briscoe. He's a tough Benny Briscoe. And right now, Richie Cates is just taking him apart. You know, he looks hungry enough now like a young fighter just starting up. Nice left hand by Bennett. But he gets hit with an overhand right to the knees, buckling a little bit on that one. He's got to snap that jab more. He's dragging it back. It's a little bit too slow. You know, and Kate's got good hands, and he's getting off uh, punches. He's following Richie Bennett's punches back. through round number four here. First three rounds have been almost identical. Good left hand and a follows it with a right hand by Cates. He is landing some hard punches. I would say most of the fight has gone out of Richie Benny right, Bennett right now. Cates has had 21 KOs out of 40 wins. But in most of his tougher fights, he has either gone the distance or suffered losses. He's a, he's a stayer. I mean, he's been in with top fighters, heavy punchers. He's a stayer. He stays with it. And right now, you know, he definitely wants a, another career out of this sport. And he's proven it right now, the way he's working over Richie Bennett right now. Tremendous combinations, and Bennett just can't seem to get anything off. 30 seconds to go here. You get knocked down here and the bell rings, you've got to get up. You do not get saved by the bell. Unless, of course, it's the final bell. Oh, 
big right hand by Cates. His best blow, and he's had many of them, and Paul Venny says that's all. There you go. A good move by Paul Venny. Richie Cates was constantly punching on Richie Bennett. Bennett was not coming back with anything. It looked like the fight had gone out of him the beginning of the round, and the only thing that could have happened was Richie Bennett getting hurt. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Paul Venti stops this bout at two minutes and 51 seconds of the fourth round, and a winner by a TKO, Richie Cates. Cates. There he is, Richie Cates. He's now 41 and six with 22 knockouts.